So, uh, chapter three, exercise one. Create a document with one artboard. Artboard. First off, we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to go into File, New, and it'll bring up the new document dialog box. Uh, I want to change the document profile from custom into print, which is a CMYK document, uh, and we can choose our size here. But specifically what I want to do is I want to make something that's 8 inches by 8 by 8 inches. inches. Right now it's set to points. PT means points. And we see the units here. We're going to go down and change uh, the units to inches. And we, PT turns into an IN. We're going to make our document 8 inches by 8 inches. And so this is an 8 inch by 8 inch whiteboard or artboard that we're creating. I'm going to press OK and we're going to see that created. So here's the space that I have to work with. Um, what I want to do is draw a circle, a triangle, and a square at the top of my document. So we've done circles before. We're going to go over here and choose our ellipse tool. And I'll go ahead and I want to make a certain type of, of ellipse. I want to make a circle and I also want to have a particular fill. I'm going down here to the fill to change that. I just want a red filled uh, bit. I'm going to click and drag and create this circle. I'm going to hold down the shift key to lock it into a, a circle. So I have uh, my, my circle. Uh, we can go, go ahead and make a triangle. So there's many different ways to make a triangle. Um, uh, we'll try a couple methods. The easiest method might be to go down to the polygon tool. And so I've made a polygon. What I can do is uh, click on this uh, the whiteboard, uh, on the artboard, and I'm going to choose how many sides I want. And uh, I've chosen three sides. And about a little bit, you know, let's make that this a one inch uh, radius for that. And we'll create a triangle. Fantastic. So, and then the next bit is to create a square. We go back to our shapes tool and pull up the rectangle tool. And I'm going to go in and create a square. Just like that. So I've got um, three shapes. What I want to do is go ahead and um, I'm going to do a little extra. I'm going to pull up the ruler tools by holding down the um, command button and tapping the letter R, which will bring up the ruler tools. Uh, I can also go up to view and show and hide rulers. Then I'll show you the command R. Is, is a tool there. What I want to do is I want to sort of align these things, and this is sort of beyond um, the exercise a bit. But I want to put a couple markers down so that I can see how large these things are. And then I want to go ahead and pop these shapes to those baselines. So now all my shapes are essentially, at least very close to being exactly the same um, height. And so there we go. I can. How do I get rid of those uh, alignment lines? I'll select them and press delete on my keyboard. So now I've got these nice regular shapes. I'm going to go ahead and try to align them a, a little bit visually. I'm actually also, since they're not perfect, I'm going to go ahead and align them um, horizontally on center. And um, yeah, that's just one possibility.